Welcome to Tech Transformation with CGT and RAS News. I'm Lisa Johnson, the Editor-in-Chief of CGT. Digitizing the route to market has been a priority for consumer goods companies for a very long time, and the pandemic amped the urgency to attend. For AB InBev, this meant really stomping on the pedal when rolling out their B's e-commerce technology, which lets retailers place orders through a mobile app and a lot more. So over the past few years, its use has exploded and has really transformed how the company works with retailers. So today I'm talking with EJ Weiss, Global Director of Strategy at Bees at AB InBev, about the impact the tech has had within the company and how they're using the learnings and the data across the enterprise. So how is, it's been very successful for for ABI. So how is the success of Bees, um, you know, impacting other transformation within the company? Yeah, I think when we talk about transformation, sometimes we're focusing a lot on technology and products, but the real magic happens when the technology uh, and the people actually come together. So one of the key things that we've seen is we have this important frontline of sales reps that have built relationships with our retailers and really know those businesses. And they were spending all of their time on very manual tasks of inventory and order taking. And by implementing bees, we've actually shifted their roles from sales reps into business development representatives or BDRs as we call them. And this allows them to spend time reviewing the performance with the retailers, looking at opportunities for them to grow their business, um, educating them and helping them on their digital transformation journey. So I think a huge impact happened for us on the front line. Another thing that's really changed is the amount of information um, that we're able to gather and then utilize so we can really personalize uh, a lot of the experiences for the retailers. If you think about an event, um, one that obviously drives a lot of beer sales uh, is the World Cup. And so during the World Cup, we were able to gamify the experience for our customers, and they could participate in a bracket challenge where they would select which teams they thought were going to progress within the World Cup. And we had over a million uh, retailers participating in that wow. bracket challenge, something we just wow. never could have done without bees. Um, and overall, this has led to a significant increase in our net promoter score or NPS, which is how we measure satisfaction of the customers. So in, in total, it's definitely improved improved that relationship with the retailers. How do you use, um, you know, some of the data or the insights um, across the company elsewhere? I think from bees, we're able to gather billions of data points on a monthly basis, and they do flow to hundreds of downstream applications. One of the most important things we can do is utilize that to tailor the experience that the retailers have within bees. So we can customize the homepage to ensure that the retailers can see what's most important to them. We can also give recommended orders based off of their prior behaviors, which helps save them time. Um, And importantly, we're able to then create algorithms that understand uh, what products perform well in the areas that the retailer is in, as well as similar stores, so that we can then algorithmically drive order uh, recommendations for the retailers, which then increases their business and in turn also grows the average order size compared to an order that's manually built via the catalog. And this both grows ABI's business and the partner companies that we work with. So uh, since you've launched, you've also um, introduced third party marketplace, third party products to retailers. So what was the decision behind that on offering, um, you know, another company's goods? Well, we gather a lot of feedback from our customers. And one of the things we noticed was that as they were using these, they were starting to ask for a larger uh, portfolio offering. And so the uh, initial insight was actually driven by our customers that they wanted access to more products via bees. Um, And then when we looked at the transformation that happened for ABI, we recognized if we could digitize the route to market, accelerate the business while increasing uh, the the relationship with the retailers, um, it was 
a really great opportunity to do this for other partner companies. Um, so we've seen a, a lot of success um, in ABI. Now we have the majority of ABI's net revenue flows through bees. Uh, so we're, now we're taking those learnings uh, and applying them to partners to help do the same thing, digitize their route to market, accelerate their growth and grow the relationship uh, with the retailers. Um, our marketplace is live uh, in 15 countries, and we um, have seen over 200 partners that want to work with us um, and are live within the platform. So there's a lot of traction that's there. And in addition, it's driven $850 million in incremental net revenue for ABI. So it's really a win-win-win when you think (laughs) about it. It helps the retailers, uh, it helps our partners, and it also helps ABI with new revenue streams. 